All right, um, problem one, we have v to the third, v to the first power, v to the first power. So if we simplify it, we have a total of three, four, five v's. So what we did is we took all of the powers and we added them up to get five. On problem two, we have x cubed and x cubed. That's a total. If you want to write it out this way too, you could write x, x, x. That's x cubed. x, x, x. That's another x cubed. So all together, there are a total of six. We added the powers together. On problem three, we have k squared and k cubed which is a total of k to the fifth because k, k, there's k squared, k cubed which means there are three of them. So we have a total of five. We have m squared times two to the two m cubed. I check the number in front of the m squared is a one. One times two is two, so it just hangs out in front. Then I count up how many m's I have. I have two here and three there, so a total of five. I have three x squared. Now when there's parentheses, now it's being raised to a power. That means I can write it two ways. I can either say three x has to happen two times because it's squared, 3 times 3 is 9, x times x is x squared. If you wanted to do it a different way, we could say 3x with the power of 2. Because there's no addition or subtraction signs in here, we can have the power go to both of our pieces. So the coefficient would be 3 squared x would also be squared, 3 squared equals 9, x squared stays the same. Both of those ways work. Same thing on 6, I could write 3p to the cube 3 times. So that'd be 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, with a total of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 p's. If I didn't want to write all of these out, I could just write... If I distribute it in because of those parentheses, Instead of adding them, I'm going to put the power of 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 cubed is 27 with p to the power of 9. Either of those ways work. So on this one, I'm just going to distribute that power in. 3 cubed x cubed, 3 cubed is 27, x cubed stays the same. On this one we have n squared to the power of 3. That means we are multiplying because there are parentheses that signals to us, so n, 2 times 3 is 6. 